Hello, Year 6. Uh, this week I wanted to do a little bit of revision around possessive apostrophes. Um, I've been looking at your work and I think sometimes you're getting a little bit mixed up when to stick an apostrophe in and when not. So I thought it was worth um, a recap of that. So, an apostrophe for possession. This is when we put an apostrophe in between the word and S to explain that it belongs to someone. In other words, it's their possession. It belongs to them, they possess it. We have to be really careful about where we put it because we don't always need to put it just because there's an S on the end of a word. So if you're asking for somebody to give something to you that belongs to them, such as give me the boy's book, it's the book that belongs to the boy, give it to me. If there is, then, then then you can do the same for girls and children and so on. If there are more than one boy, then the apostrophe moves slightly to after the S to indicate that there's more than one boy and there's more than one boy's books. So bring me the boy's books would be a pile of books on the boy's table. But where are the boy's books? slightly different. How many boys are there? There, we're not talking about anything belonging to the boys. We're just talking about where are the boys? How many boys are there? How many girls? Therefore, we do not need an apostrophe before the S. Sometimes we have an apostrophe for a missing word, an omission. Something that is omitted is something that is not there at all. So that's another time we might use an apostrophe. So one of my worst ones is you are. Often I find people writing your, as in Y-O-U-R. That's different, that's something belonging to you. Your cup, your dog, your pencil. But where we have you are, you, apostrophe re that's one of my worst ones that i see she will she'll is not isn't where you see the missing letter where we squash the words together is where you put in your apostrophe so for instance we will will become we'll there's a more than one letter missing there but it doesn't matter we still just put in one apostrophe So, just to recap, possessive apostrophes, when something belongs to someone, go in between the word and the S when there is one person and one belonging. So the boy's book, boy apostrophe S. If there is more than one boy and lots of boys and lots of books, boys with the S on the end, apostrophe. So those are your possess possessive apostrophes. Then you have your omission apostrophes, where two words are put together. Some of the letters are taken out, such as we will becomes we'll. And in between, where the two words meet, we have an omission apostrophes. Now, you'll notice when you're out and about, people do find these quite tricky and often you see mistakes, particularly in shops. So you'll see that sometimes in the, the um, shops, they'll have things like potatoes and they'll put an apostrophe in, but we don't need one. It just means there's lots of potatoes. So be careful and tell me if you spot any when you're out shopping and let me know. Um, where it is, well, maybe I'll have to go down and give them a lesson in a possessive apostrophes.